Hello, Namaskar and a very good afternoon to all the viewers watching our session out there. This is Simran Singh and you are watching this particular live telecast of NCERT on eVidya channel number 9. Besides, we have so many different mediums through which you can connect with us and you can also watch this video that will be uploaded later on our YouTube channel mm -hmm. that's NCERT official. So, for another half an hour, we have a session of mathematics for all class 9 students. So, you know what are we going to discuss in today's session of mathematics? The topic is Heron's formula. Is it familiar with you or have you heard it for the first time? Do mention your queries, your feedback at this mail ID flashing on your screens for class 9. You may kindly note it down, it is dth.class9 at the rate ciet.nic.in. Besides, you can also connect with us through a contact number that is flashing on your screens. So, feel free to give us a call at 88004404559 and providing us more uh, insights into today's mathematics session on Heron's formula, we have with us Mrs. Bina Prakash. Namaskar ma'am, good afternoon. Good afternoon Simranji we welcome and good you. afternoon to all my learners. Uh, I am sure that our learners will be very happy watching you discussing more on today's aspect. Ma'am is a senior PGT Mathematics and a serving at Campion School from Bhopal. So before commencing today's discussion of mathematics, I have an important piece of information for all of you. We are proud <coughs> that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country in this year, that is 2023. The nation is deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism. India's G20 presidency will be a watershed moment in its history as it seeks to play a very major role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of everyone and in doing so manifesting the true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or the world is one family. So let's get back to our conversation for class 9th mathematics Heron's formula. So ma'am, very quickly I will request you to apprise our viewers what are we going to discuss in today's session. Sure. Actually dear children, we must have, you must have studied how to find the area of certain uh, polygons. Fine? Like to start with area of a triangle, area of a quadrilateral and in particular for quadrilateral parallelogram, rectangle and all. All these areas, areas of all these um, quadrilateral uh, polynomials we have studied in the previous classes. Now, in particular about this chapter, what we have is, see the area of triangle that you have studied is basically using the formula of half base multiplied by height. In certain cases, the A triangles are defined in terms of, that is the measures of the sides of the triangles are there. Then it becomes a little difficult to identify the height, that is height means the word, distance of the opposite vertex from the base of a triangle. So, for that, we have a simpler formula given by Heron. He was born in, so that is the information that I have given from the textbook. It has been taken up from the textbook only. It's also a short description of Heron. So, he was a great mathematician. With the help of the formula that he has given, we can evaluate the area or find the compute the area of the figures which is based on triangles. That is, you can convert into triangles and get the areas of any polygon. So the formula says that it is under the root of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, where S stands for the semi perimeter S is equal to half of B, A plus B plus C, that is A, B, C are the sides of the triangle. So we can use this formula to compute the area of any triangle. To start with, I have taken up the first question from the NCRT textbook. The question says that a traffic board indicating school ahead is an equilateral triangle of side A. Find the area of the signal board using the Heron's formula to find the where the perimeter is given as 180 cm. What will be the area of the signal board? So this is what you have to find. Now how do we find the area? The triangle is equilateral. So what information do we have? All the three sides are equal. So we have S, the semi-perimeter, which is 180, it is already given. 180 upon 2 will be 90 and also we have all the three sides equal 
Isn't it? All three sides are equal. So hence the perimeter of the triangle will be 3A. 3A will be 180 degree. So what will the measure of the side be? 60 degree. So this chapter is basically a chapter based on computation. So you have to be very, very alert in calculation. So please make sure that you use all the properties that you have studied in your lower class to evaluate, to like this question. The area of the triangle, we have the formula AS, 90 is S, 90 minus 60, 90 minus 60, 90 minus 60, 90 minus 60. all three sides are same. And thus we come across this expression 30, 30, 30 because difference of 90 and 60 is 30 and 190. So how will you evaluate? We take up the pair, this third pair will give us 130. And from here we can take out the 30 because we see a 30 here. So we have that as 3 times 30. So 30 and 30 pairs up and you get another 30. There's one 3 left out which is now that is 2, 3. So you can always leave the answer. Now children you can always leave the answer in this form. That is, we can have it as 900 root 3 square centimeters instead of, <coughs> if, if the value of root 3 is given, then you definitely go for the value, for the calculation. Otherwise, leave the answer in this form. Okay. Now, next question based on the same pattern, same formula is, then the triangular side of flyover has been used to, the triangular side of a flyover, see, we can see a flyover here. This is also a figure which has been taken up from the uh, textbook. This is a flyover. And under this, you can see a road, cars moving on, vehicles moving on this flyover. So you can see on one side, there is a triangular shape which is used for advertisements. The sides of the walls of this triangular space is 122, 120, 22 and 120. These are the three sides that you have. It's mentioned here. Advertisement earning is earning of rupees 5000 per square meter when he gives it for the advertisement. A company hired one, one ball for the three months. How much rent will it have to pay? That's the question here. So it's a base question which is based on finding the area of this region and then computing its value for cost. So let us first find out the area. So to find the area what is required because the three sides of the triangles are mentioned so definitely Hero's formula will help us to evaluate the area. So the means first we will have to find out S. S comes out to be 122 plus 122 plus 120 upon 2. So the sum of this is divided by 2 which comes out to be 132. So the area of the triangle will be S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. So let's take up, you can see the cursor no? 132 minus 122 is 10. 132 minus 22 comes out to be 110. And 132 minus 120 comes out to be 12. Now look for the pairs of numbers which can be taken out because that's what the root under root quantity describes it. So you look for the factors which are in pairs. Like 132 can be factored as 12 and 11. And then this 10 is carried forward. This 110 is written as 11 multiplied by 10 and this 12. So what we find is we can see the pairs of number inside the square root sign. You take it out for finding the value. So 12, 2 12s makes 1 12, 11, there are 2 11s that is giving us 1 11 and 2 10s that is 1 10. So this is finally the area. Now the question is not to find the area, it is to find the cost that the advertising company has to be paid when a company hires it for 3 months. The cost is 5000 per square meter per year. The whole year you have to pay 5000. So what will be the month, uh, company's rent for one month? It will be area multiplied by 5000 upon 12. So for three months you will have to calculate. So I have just taken up this calculation. I have not evaluated. Children make, make sure that you don't take up in between calculations. Because in between calculations if it goes wrong somewhere you will be carrying forward that mistake throughout. So such type of questions, the purpose of such type of question is to make you understand how to take up the evaluation. So I have taken up, see, you have seen this is written as 12 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 10. I have not evaluated. So you, the purpose of it is this 12 and 12 gets cancelled and you just have the multiplication of the remaining numbers. The remaining numbers are 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 11 which has to be followed by these many zeros. So isn't it easy for us to compute? So that is what you have to learn through this chapter. Okay. The next question that you have is, I have picked up certain questions from the exercises. 
so that you get a complete idea of what the chapter is. The third question is based on the ratios of the size. It's not mentioned that it is this measure. It measures the ratios are in this ratio 12, 70 and 25. And the perimeter is given as 540. So what does that mean? You have to find out first the lengths of the sides. So how do we find? So let us assume that the sides are 12x, 17x and 25x. So in that case, what is that information? That is the perimeter is 540 means the length of addition when you add all these sides should give us 540. And when you find the sum of all this, you'll find that it comes out to be 54. So it is 540 divided by 54, which is 10. So the sides measures are 120, 170 and 250. So we have the sides. So again, we follow the same formula. We have the area by the formula under root of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus B. So look for the pairs. You will easily get the pairs. See, all pairs are available. See, 27 has, look for a perfect square in it, 9 in it. So you have a 3 from here. Now look for another 3 from here. See, there is a 3 from here. That 5 is left. You have the zeros, these, these zeros, the two zeros here, one zero here, one zero. This is one set of zeros, this is another set of zeros. So that makes it 100 from, that is root of that will give us 100. And this set of numbers will give us 9 here, isn't it? Now what is further left is a 5 from here. And don't you see this 20? So 5 and 20 will make it again 100, that is 10. So don't you have the answer? This is the answer. So this is how you have to take up the calculation part, right? That I have taken up only these three questions from the first exercise. From the second exercise, it continues. Now it has been extended. We discussed certain questions based on triangles. Now it has been extended to quadrilaterals. Now see the question that from the next question exercise, it is <coughs> from the quadrilateral. A park is in the shape of a quadrilateral ABCD with one angle measuring 90 degrees. And the size of the remaining measure information is given. See, the information given is the measures of the four sides are given. Okay, the four sides of the triangle is given. Now, the question is to find the area of this quadrilateral. So, we will have to use the triangle to find the area of the quadrilateral. So, you will have to decide how, which way we have to divide the triangle quadrilateral. Is it with the help of joining BD or should we go in for AC? Now, if you go for AC, you should be knowing, if you are finding, uh, joining A and C, then in that case, you have to be very sure to get the value of AC. Because then we are using Aaron's formula, no? A, 5 and what is the measure of AC? For this triangle also, you require the third side's measure. We are not aware. So, that is not helping us. So, what we do is, we join B and D. Why are we joining B and D? Let's Think of the previous information that you have for any right angle triangle. You can always get the third side if two sides of a triangle are known to us. You can always get the third side using Pythagoras theorem. And above all, it's a right angle triangle. The set of sides that we have is 5 and 12. So you should be remembering this is another thing that every child should be knowing. That is, you will have to remember certain set of Pythagorean triplets so that you can take up that values rather than wasting your time in evaluating. So 5, 12 and 13, they are Pythagorean triplets. So you can use it and you have got the third side as 13. Now, won't it be easy for us to evaluate the areas of the two figures? So first is the triangle ABD, then the triangle BCD. Now, in triangle BCD, since your one angle is 90 degree, we don't require a Hegel's formula. Hegel's formula requires little calculation. So as far as possible, we try to avoid it. So, we go in for the formula that we have that is half base multiplied by height which gives us 30. Now, for ABD, no option. You have no choice. There is only Heron's formula. So, you will have to again start with that. That is finding the semi-perimeter S, semi S and then working out. Now, in this question, again see what is happening here. It is not all the time that you get a rational number. That is, area can be a rational number. Here you find that this is a number which is not a perfect square. So keep the answer in this form. You can answer the question in this form. That is the area of this quadrilateral A, B, C, D is 30 plus 6 root 70 square, square meters. 
in case the value of root 70 is given or you evaluate you all know how to evaluate the root of any number you evaluate it and you find that it is this approximately then it is not exactly it's approximately equal to 35.49 so the final area of it is 65.49 this symbol is meant for approximately or you can write besides this is this can be written as 35.49 square meters approximately fine that's another way of writing it so that's one question now if you look at the next question in the next question you are given the area of a quadrilateral again question is area of the quadrilateral the sides of the quadrilateral some measures of the sides are given so what are the measures that we have it is the measure of ab measure of bc measure of cd and then measure of da this is a given to us that is all four sides are given now the question is again which way should we convert this is not mentioned now look at this figure carefully you have the measure of side ab as 3 you have the measure of side bc as 4 and the measure of ad ad is 5 it is given in the question so what information do we have as in triangle a b c a b measures 3 cm b c measures 4 cm and a c measures 5 cm so what is the conclusion do we have we need to look for this particular type of triangle whenever you find such type of triangle we find that the measure of angle opposite to the side 5 that is the measure of angle b will always it will always be a right angle triangle so we have an advantage now look we can evaluate the area of the triangle ABC using half base multiplied by height. And now coming to the second part, divide, taking up the triangle ACD. ACD. We can always go for the Heron's formula. That's easier where two sides are same. Or you could have gone for the perpendicular also. That's again an option I have mentioned. You can try it. But directly go in for the Heron's formula. You can evaluate it. Fine. Now we are going for the next question. Now the next question says that the triangle and the parallelogram have the same base. A triangle and a parallelogram they have the same base and same area. You, the sides of the triangle again the sides of the measures of the sides of the triangles are given. So it is one side is 28, the other side is 22, and the third side is 30. Three sides are measured mentioned. You have to find the area of the sorry height of this um, parallelogram. Height of this parallelogram means we will have to make a perpendicular from the opposite side onto it. So this represents the height of the parallelogram. Right? And the parallelogram is having the same base as that of the triangle ABC which measures 28. So how will you find? Just equate the two. You have area of the triangle equal to area of the parallelogram. So for area of the triangle, no choice. We have to go for the Heron's formula. So that formula I have written here. So we have to work out and get the value of h. So h, how will it be, do we evaluate? Just see, it gets simplified. It is 7 times. So it has 20 upon 7 root of 6 centimeter. That's the height of the diameter. Fine. Now, these are the questions that I have taken up from the textbook. So I would like that children should be working out, going through all the questions of the textbook so that you can work out with every go through the questions so that the formula becomes clearer to you of now course ma'am and uh, yes. ma'am before Pardon? proceeding ahead i would like to inform all our viewers that we still have around five minutes left in this conversation so for any queries you can contact us at this contact number that is flashing on your screens either you can write to us at the mail id for class 9th which is dth.class9 at the rate cie.nic.in Yes, ma'am. You may continue. Uh, now, let's, let's just see, read the fifth question. A rhombus-shaped field has green grass for 18 cows to graze. If each side of the rhombus is 30 meter and its longer diagonal is 48, how much area can the graph or uh, area of the grass field will each cow be getting? So, see, it's just an application based on question. So, what is this question stating? Ki there are 18 cows. Fine. So 18 cows, 18 cows can graze, can graze on 
which on the field field with the area that is area of parallelogram uh, rhombus parallelogram means it's a rhombus only so it's area of the rhombus now how do we find the area of a rhombus now what is a rhombus rhombus is a quadrilateral where all sides are equal but measures of each angle may not be 90 degree fine i'm sorry this is see you have it looks like a rhombus no all sides are equal all sides of this rhombus they are equal so the measure of this sides are given as 30 30 30 and 30 and the longer diagonal which one is the longer diagonal isn't this the longer diagonal diagonal the measure of the longer diagonal is 48 So the measure of the longer diagonal is 48. So isn't it giving a clear picture of what is there? Yes. So 18 graph curve the area of the parallelogram that is rhombus. You can take it in terms of two times the area of the triangle ABC. Yes. Area of triangle ABC. and what is area of the triangle abc we will have to find the semi perimeter for this this will come out to be 108 108 is and 54 half of it is 54 so it's 54 minus 48 54 minus 48 will come out to be 6 54 minus 30 will come out to be 24 54 minus 30 is another 24 so what is the area see 24 224 will come out as 24 Then 54 contains 9 and 6. 1 6 will come out of it. 9 makes it 3. So we get it as a perfect square multiplied by 2. This is grazed by 18 cows. This is grazed by 18 cows. So what will the area? How much area will one cow graze? So area of field grazed by one cow. By one cow, it will be. 24 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 upon so still now i have not calculated the value of all these products because we know that it will be simplified Isn't and ma'am let's leave it so as it is we know to be 48 square centimeter let of me see course. the unit of it. yes ma'am uh, yes ma'am a due to paucity of time ma'am we will not be able to continue the conversation but i think so as of what now what i'm saying is you just go through all the questions all the questions requires little technical part that is which way we have to use and make our calculations easier the sure. whole chapter is based on computation sure uh thank you so much ma'am for being a part of this conversation and explaining at length to our viewers about this concept that is important concept of a mathematics for class 9 heron's formula thanks a lot Thank, Thank you everybody. to all the viewers who have connected with NCERT for this particular live interactive session of mathematics. So before concluding this particular conversation an important piece of information for all of you. We are proud that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country in this year that is 2023. The nation is deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism. India's G20 presidency will be a watershed moment in its history as it seeks to play a very major role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of everyone and in doing so manifest the true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or the world is one family. Thank you to the viewers who have connected with us and now the session is going to end but stay tuned with evidya channels because next up we have a session of social science for all class 9th students and the topic uh, that we are going to discuss in the session is poverty so keep watching evidya channels and take very good care of yourself namaskar <laughs>